The last time that Haxton and Marino went five in their series was October 24, 2016. As a part of the district volleyball tournament, Haxton won that one in five. They've already come back from 2-0 down in this tournament to beat Stratton, and they'll field the serve to start things off in this fifth set. Conger turns. She'll tip it to the floor. Taza Conger with the kill. The only difference here is Stratton didn't have a Taza Conger. Right. Right. That Haxton had to deal with. Right, no doubt. Serve will be lying down the middle, popped up high, back row. Set far pin for Ella Coffin. She'll spin it near side on Beret. Set for Conger. She's into the double at the net. Kept up high. Roll shot far side. Handed up by Coffin. Set onto the side of the Marino Rams. And it's punched back over by Brooklyn Suter. The set sailed a little bit on Schramm right over the head of her intended hitter. And a 2-0 lead to start the fifth set for the Marino Rams. Line serve down the middle, popped up high, back row, set near side, big rip deep by Walker. Back set, big hammer, Conger again. Taza Conger is becoming the emphatic player that everybody knows she is to start this fifth set. With Cassidy Goddard on the bench to start the set, Haxton needs to find a way to get her out there quickly. She's been the block negating Conger. Back set far side, down the line goes Ella Coffin. Nice diving dig up, back row by McKenna Suter. Free ball ripped near side by Conger. Bornoff will chase it down near the 5A court. Free ball spun back over by Schramm. High up on the 10-foot line by McKenna Suter. Brooklyn Suter dumps it over, handed up quickly by Starkey Bomb and a free ball over by Coffin. Back wrap to the near pin for Conger. She'll whistle at far side. Near the Haxton bench, Coffin chases it down and a bump free spun over by Walker. Chased up high, down the middle will come Conger. She rolls it into the block. She took everything off of that and picked up the kill, did Taza Conger. A 4-0 run for, ha or for Marino to start the fifth set against Haxton. She used every weapon in her arsenal on that rally in terms of offensive approach for Taza Conger. Sir from the Rams deep, popped up high into the block at the net goes Coffin. Turn back, roll near side Coffin. Nice diving dig up by Beret and a roll shot back from Conger. It's mishanded and Conger will get a kill almost just to be a rally extending free ball. And a timeout taken by the Haxton Bulldogs. Wow. Coming 5-0 run to open up this fifth set, and it's been all Taza Conger out of this fifth set. Coming up next, we have more semifinal action on wall-to-wall -wall volleyball here on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Our action will feature the Holyoke Dragons and the Wiggins Tigers, as well as the Fleming Wildcats and the Briggsdale Falcons, two league foes seeing one another just like this matchup. We're going to have some phenomenal volleyball once again with a potential championship matchup, all LPAA. It will be an all LPAA championship matchup on the two-way side. Yeah, it's Holyoke or Wiggins taking on Sedgwick County in the two-way state championship. All Northeast Colorado represented on the two-way side, and we're going to be looking at a potential all LPAA on the 1A side, too. Well, this is the all LPAA. It's all North Central for oh, Fleming right. and Briggsdale. Right. They play in the same district, though. Out of the timeout, Haxton with the ball on their side, spun down the near line. Up from Schramm, and then Conger will swipe it back far side. Handed up by Thompson. Down the middle, Schramm. She's turned back by Conger. All six points in the set have been Taza Conger. The block and five kills. Wow. Talk about taking over a match. McKenna Suter will line the serve down the middle. Popped up high. Back row set to the near pin. Crawling the block at the net and picking up the kill as a freshman. Bobby Starkey bomb. So all the seniors on the Haxton roster, it's a freshman that gets that first point. See if the Bulldogs can get a run of service as Taylor Schramm will take the serve. The senior's been the do-everything. She's got five assists a set as well as three kills a set. Down the middle alley, Thompson. She's turned back by Taza Conger. And it's a 7-1 lead. 
the Rams. You know she can take over wow. a, a set, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody take over a set this no. single-handedly. No, it, it, it's all Taza Conger right now. Near side swing. Conger doesn't get there close enough to block the left-handed swing of Allie Thompson. 7-2. Serve will be powered down the near side. Popped up quickly for Thorpe. Set off the block at the net. And down for the kill goes Taza Conger again. Wow. 8-2 and Taza Conger has all eight points for the Marino Rams. Brooklyn Suter will take the serve. Diving dig by Kalen Bornoff into the net. Brooklyn Suter will get the ace 9-2, and Haxton takes another timeout. After what Haxton did in the last two sets to get this to a fifth, you felt like, okay, this could be like a 17-15, 18-16 kind of set five in which these two teams swap points back and forth. I don't think anybody in this arena save for maybe the players wearing maroon jerseys right now, had any expectation that this set would open with a 9-2 run by the Marino Rams. You knew Taza Conger was great. And, and she's been negated well in this match. But she's been negated largely by the sophomore Cassidy Goddard, who in Haxton's rotation starts the set on the bench. And Conger has taken advantage of the spot. Goddard is still one spot away, I believe, from rotating in on the front row. Her block is what is taking Conger out of this match, and she's not out there and unable to be out there based on the rotation. Brooklyn Cedar with the serve out of the time, out at 9-2, picks up another race, make it 10-2. Five points away. Marino, who was up two sets to none, Gave up the last two sets and now has raced out to a 10-2 advantage. Brooklyn Suter far side, fielded back row. Running bump up, roll shot deep from Thompson. Quick up back row down the middle, Conger. She'll roll it far line, piped it right off the arms of Bobby Starkeybaum. And it's 11-2 Marino. Haxton's out of timeouts, so they've got to figure it out on their own. Sir will be ripped down the middle, diving dig up back row. Back set for Thompson into the block at the net of who else but Taza Conger. 12-2. Marino three away from an appearance in the title game for a second year in a row. They won it all last year. Sir will be powered too big and out for Brooklyn Suter. I was just going to say the only way it seems Haxton's going to get the ball back is if Marino makes a mistake, and that's exactly what they did. Goddard now on the front row. Starkey bomb spot is served by Kalen Bornoff, the senior libero. She'll fire it down the middle, popped up high, back row. Back set near side. Goddard got the touch on the Conger swing, but it didn't matter. It went down to the floor again, 13-3. Haxton two points away from being sent home. And Conger will have the serve, having won all but one point in this set for the Marino Rams. She'll fire it down the middle. Thompson will swat it over. Diving dig up by Thorpe. And a free ball back for Conger. Handed up back row coffin. Near side set for Allie Thompson. She'll power it deep. Dug up high back row. Down the middle push. McKenna Suter swipe back by the block of Goddard. Then a dump set back over the net by Brooklyn Suter. Set to the near pin for Thompson. She'll fire it far side. Dug up high back row by Conger. Down the middle. McKenna Suter chipped the block of Goddard at the net. Found the floor and 11 match points for the Marino Rams to top the Haxton Bulldogs 14 to 3. Taza Conger with the serve, the senior firing it down the near side. A back row by Schramm, set near side. Goddard, she'll hop tape in the net. Sliding dig up, back row by Brooklyn Suter, back for Conger, she'll rip it into the net. 
14-4, and back to serve goes Allie Thompson. Taylor Schramm was great in the fourth set. Can she uncork some offense and try and give Haxton a monumental comeback? Far pin swing, McKenna Suter off the block at the net. Ball covered up high, bump free over by Kalen Bornoff. Haxton scrambles to get in position. Far side, McKenna Suter, she'll tip it short. Goddard blocks it back. Covered up high by Coffin. Back set far side, big swing deep from Megan Walker. Back to the wrap, near side, it'll come for McKenna Suter, run up by Coffin. Schramm with the free ball short, handed up quickly. Turn dump back far side, high punch up. Runner for Coffin and a free ball over by Goddard. Handed up back row and nope. Goddard Butter got into the net. She was trying to dump it over and backed into the net and 15-4, Marino comes back to beat Haxton in five and they are headed to the title game.